All right, welcome back. Now in this particular tutorial, we're going to see um, a practical demonstration of um, part of speech tagging. Okay, we're going to see how we do that. Okay, so these are the things that we saw earlier on. So let's go straight away to um, the part where we see it in a code form. Okay, so um, here I'm just going to, I mean, import the necessary libraries, right? Which is the NLTK library which we're going to use. Okay. So I'm forming a sentence over here, which is just, I mean, a very simple sentence, right? So my name is Dr. Bright and that's going to be my sentence that I'm going to use. Okay. All right. So, uh, what I'm going to do first is to first tokenize it. Okay. So mainly in everything that we're going to do, you first need to tokenize your, uh, words before you can do it. So I'm importing the necessary library, which is the NLTK library. Right, and then I'm forming a sentence over here, which is nothing but my name is Dr. Bright, right? And that is gonna be my um, sentence, okay? So once I do that, I have, um, I first need to tokenize this sentence, okay? To individual tokens, all right? So once I do that, I will have my NLTK dot uh, word underscore tokenize, okay? And then I pass in my sentence to tokenize it, okay? So if I run this one, it's supposed to give me all those tokens, okay? My name is Dr. and then Bright. All right, so these are what, um, I mean, the word tokenizer is gonna give me, okay? So once I do that, then the next thing that I'm going to do is to use the part of speech tag and which is present in NLTK, okay? Before you can do that, you need to download this um, average perception tagger. Okay, you need to download this one. So you just do this one. And then once you do that, you can now use the part of speech tag. Okay, and then you pass in your tokens that you have. Okay, so maybe this one also just name it as token so that it will be intuitive. All right. Okay, so once I do that, I can pass in my tokens over here. All right, all the tokens. And then you can see that it's giving me the part of speech respectively. So my is, um, this is the part of speech of it. Now you see that I'm tagging each of them, right? I'm tagging each of them. So I'm tagging my with respective um, part of speech. I'm tagging name with the respective part of speech. I'm tagging is with the respective part of speech. I'm tagging doctor with the respective part of speech. I'm tagging bright with the respective part of speech. Okay, so um, if you see um, PRP dollar sign, if you go and see it over here, right? So that is um, this PRP do dollar sign. That is possessive pronoun. Okay, so this um, my is a possessive pronoun. If you see the name is NN, which is nothing but um, if you see it over here, is now right singular or mass right singular noun in this case. Okay, and then if you see A, it's, it's VBZ. Okay, so if you're gonna see. Uh, if you come here, VBZ is verb, third person, singular, present. All right. And if you see um, Dr. NNP, which is nothing but um, proper noun, singular, proper noun. Okay. And then if you see the uh, last one, which is bright, it's also singular, proper noun. All right. So that is how you tag your OS. Okay. That's how you tag your OS. You're going to see applications of this one later on when we start putting everything together. You're going to see why we need to tag them. Okay. We can even um, do it. I mean, check these things without going forward to go and look it at the table like this. You can just um, check it like this. Okay. So here you download tag sets. Okay. You download tag set. And then once you download ta tag set, you, you do nltk.help. You pen tag set, right? And then you pass in what the meaning, you pass in this tag, right? To see the meaning of that. Okay, so if I run this one, you see that it's here, right? It's showing that um, it's a pronoun, right? And it's a possessive pronoun. And that's what is actually showing us over here too, right? Possessive pronoun. So you can do it for all of them. For instance, if I pass in say the NN, okay? If I don't know what this NN means, I can just pass it in over here. And if I run that, you see that it's now, right now, common, singular or mass. It's the same thing here, right? It's the same thing here, now, singular or mass. Okay. So you can just check it for all of them, right? So for VBZ, right, I can pass in over here. Okay. If I run it, because it's a like verb, present tense, third person, singular. The same thing over here, verb, third person, singular, present. Okay, so that's basically it. That's basically it. You can check it for um, this and then the P as well. Right, you can check it for that. You see that it's now proper, now singular. Okay, so I mean, it's even giving you an example over here. Right, it's going to give you an example over here. 
All right, so this is um, how we do part of speech tagging. Okay, this is how we do part of speech tagging.